We're here on scene. We're in the 26,000 block of Avenue at Cali Dad. We were here to serve an arrest warrant on Jason Miller. He had a felony warrant for domestic violence and stalking. He was uncooperative at the time. We contacted him, retreated into the house, and now created a, a barricaded situation. I don't have the specific uh, incident that this charge stems from. I can just tell you that we did have an arrest warrant for his arrest. You know, we don't have any specific information to indicate that he's armed, but when in, anytime somebody's uncooperative and retreats back into the house and is refusing to obey the commands of deputies, we're going to treat that very seriously. We are currently in a case with the ex-girlfriend of what this entire domestic violence case is all about. Um, I am the girlfriend to... Jason's ex-girlfriend's wife. Does that make sense? Or a uh, uh, husband, I'm sorry. Um, I'm a little worried about him. Um, I'm more worried because she's crazy. And I know from experience in our court case. So that's why I'm worried for him. I don't think there's a lot of truth to what she says. Well, so you're here supporting Jason and you don't think that the case that his ex brought against him might not be factual? I don't think all of it's factual because we've talked to him. And by we, I mean my boyfriend and him. I think Mayhem's in this car right here, guys. Yeah, we did a remote breach of the front door. And immediately following the breach of the front door, the suspect, Jason Miller, went out the back door and surrendered in the back. Is there any type of resistance or is no. he injured at all? No, he was taken against. And uh, is he, do you know where he's going to be transported or what the next step is? He'll be transported to Orange County Jail. 